Hi there! Today I'm going to show you the pronunciation and writing of the Chinese characters you're going to learn. This is the fourth episode. Four characters. First one, Tian. First tone, Tian, 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 Tian. Second character, Di, Di. Fourth tone. D, D. Third one, Tu, Tu. Third tone, Tu, Tu. Last character, Ren. Second tone, Ren, Ren. The ones in the brackets, they are the radical of these two characters. This is the Left radical of tu, and usually it stays at the left of the character. And this is the left radical of ren, usually it stays as the left of the left to right composition character. For the strokes, tian, it start with a heng. And then add with a second hung, and followed by a pie, and last one is a na. So tian goes like first hung, second hung, pie, and then end with a na. That's tian. Character D. The left is a left radical as tu, as I just showed you. So we start with a heng, heng, and then a shu, shu. As a radical, this third stroke is a ti, second tone. This character ti. And for the right part, it start with a heng zhe go, so heng zhe go, and then followed by a shu, and ended with a shu one go. So D is writing like heng shu, and then T. That's the two radical. And then we followed with a heng zhe go, and then by a shu, and then ended with a shu one go. So again, tu, heng, shu, ti, heng zhe go, shu, and shu one go. That's D. Tu. We start with heng, followed by a shu, and then ended with the second heng. So tu goes like heng, shu, second heng. That's tu as the separate character. If tu as the radical, we do heng, shu, and then ti. So heng, shu, a ti. That's tu as the radical. The last one, ren. Ren start with a pi. And then followed by a na, a na. Two strokes. Ren start with pi, and followed by a na. Now I have a question for you. Which is the other character you learned, also composed of one pi and one na? Do you remember? All right. 
So what is that? That is character 八 It goes with a 撇 remember, and then end with a 那 so that's 八 and then this is 人 If 人 as the radical, we will start with a 撇撇 and then we followed with a shu, a shu. So ren, the radical is start with pie, and then followed by a shu. That's ren as the radical. All right. So when we're doing practicing, we wanted to use our eyes, ears, hands. Voice and mind all together to practice. So let's do the pronunciation of the characters again. First one, tian, tian, tian. Second one, di, di, di. Third, tu, tu, tu. Last one. 人，人，人。Okay, now the writing. We'll start with 天，天，天，天，天。天，天，天，天，地，地。土，土，土，土。Okay, now we're going to do the 土 in radical. Usually, this radical. Stays at the left, so we're going to occupy only the left quadrants. Tu, t. Remember, it's a t. So tu, tu, that's tu. Ren, ren. 人，人，人。The last one is 人 as the radical. So we're going to occupy the left quadrants because it's a left radical. That's 人 as the left radical. All right, so we finished the pronunciation and writing practice today, and thank you for watching. See you next time.